Hello and welcome to a hot and sultry evening here in beautiful Nova Scotia. Prime black fly weather. Um, you probably can't see but there are hundreds of the beasties around me, hence my uh, very becoming net hat. Um, so I'm in the orchard. The, uh, the covered seat is behind me and I'm into um, phase two of my apple tree planting. So I've got the um, ordinary apple trees, one, two, three, one behind you, four, and one over there, five. And now I'm into, I'm about to plant some, um, some dwarf apple trees. And the way I'm going to be planting them, well, I'm going to be planting them normally, but the way I'm going to be growing them is as step over apples, either side of this path that is here. Well, the beginnings of this path anyway, but they're going to be either side here and I'm going to be planting it right here as you can see down in this point here now when you as you can see from the picture this is the old step over apple grows about you know you can have it about a couple of feet high hence the uh, the name step over so you can step over them what I'm going to be doing is I've driven a stake as best I can I've dug a hole already um, if you've watched my uh, videos before you'll know this ground up here is horrible clay full of rocks in this little um, couple of feet hole that I've I've dug here I literally dug out three big rocks it was mostly rocks and then small rocks in this horrible so I've tried to I've dug the hole out banged this stake in and what I'm going to be doing I have another stake further up and another one here and I'm going to be using these rustic um, maple branches here that I've, I've cut off and I'm going to be running those across the actual stakes and then the apple tree is going to be planted here and then I'm going to train it either side along basically the horizontal and then obviously I don't need as much room I've just got a nice apple tree hopefully in the years to come that will grow along that way and along that way and that's why it will have its apples so this apple tree is obviously a bit taller than that so I'm going to cut it right back down to gee, there are thousands of them <laughs> I'm going to cut it right back to here and then I'm going to train the lower branches that, that start to grow out and what I want to do is I want to train them to go the lower ones to have a slight bend rather than anything coming above trying to bend it down because your, your branches they want to grow upwards as a rule don't they um, so you're giving it a bit of a an upward curve and then along is better than trying to bend a tree a branch downwards and then growing it along so first things first, I'm going to plant this apple tree. Now, um, number one thing on when you're planting an apple tree, this is on a, um, a dwarf rootstock. Oh, I think something's got inside. Emergency. Ow. So this is on a dwarf rootstock, which means um, this apple is um, Belmac and it's grafted onto a dwarf rootstock, which means it won't be growing very fast. Um, but I want to plant it so that it is the graft line is above the earth, because I don't want this different um, rootstock to be sending branches out. So that's what I'm going to do first. So this is a bit low now. I've dug it out, but I'm going to. I've got a bit of nice compost. To uh, put in. I've got these apple trees from uh, Whiffle, Whiffle Tree Farm in, uh, I think they're in Ontario. This is where I've got the majority of my other apple trees. Uh, been very good service. The trees have been really good condition so far. So I'm pleased with that. Right, let's have a look at this. The graft line. 
I think, needs to be a touch higher. about right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lean this apple tree in towards this a little bit like that. So So I'm just gently firming this, healing this in around it. I've already made sure I've given it a bit of a healing in further de deeper, make sure there's no air pockets. A bit more. So I'm taking a leap of faith here because there's some buds higher up but not a lot further down here in fact nothing there's actual buds but there's you know there's green buds further up so I'm hoping that when I cut it they will decide to come out from down below so I'm going to cut this just about here Well, I've done it now. Let's hope that wasn't a mistake. But hopefully I will have some buds now forming lower down here and they will train out along there. What I'm going to do next then is get the posts in either side of this, get this horizontal on and you can see better um, how it's going to look with the actual trees running along. Better get on with it. Oh, hang on. Got to give this a water. Give it a good water. All right, that's a good drink. Um, it's going to rain tomorrow, I think, so that should be okay. Um, but over the next few weeks definitely got to keep on with the watering regime make sure it's not thirsty at all I won't feed it at all yet it's got some nice compost there so that'll do it for the minute let it bed in and uh, we'll see how it goes hello and welcome back well it's actually been a couple of weeks since I left you I got sidetracked on planting up for spring and a few other projects but I'm all done now well all, all done this bit anyway so you obviously left me when I had just planted the apple tree here and uh, I had this sort of half in so since then I've actually put a post in that side a post in that side and I've actually secured in the horizontals and as you can see here I've got two uh, branches here and they're sort of secured in by a couple of screws with some locking wire just over the top nice and simple black flies everywhere as usual at this time of year nice and simple but nice and sturdy and as you can see I've actually laid in all the rocks down along here so it's starting to look really good I'm starting to really um, really get excited about it actually I've obviously got this side to do as you can see all this is still to do but um, that's my next bit put the apple tree in this side but um, I was a bit worried actually a bit worried um, 
when I chopped off the whole of the, the apple, the rest of the apple tree, but as you can see here now, I don't know if you can see it properly, there's a little bud coming out here and another little bud coming out just here. And uh, so I can train those, one can train that side and the other I'll train that way. And before I know it, I'll have that beautiful, beautiful look in the spring and the apples coming all the way along the branch here, just like in the picture. Well, as you can see, the rest of the um, the orchard, I've got um, one apple tree over there, that's beautifully in, um, in flower now, and that one there is in flower. And it's starting to come on, all the, all the plants are coming up, I've got all the wild lupins that I've left in, in the, uh, this part of the area here. They're all coming up now nicely, they'll put on a good show. So this is all coming together. So there you go. How to plant um, a step over apple tree. Pretty simple really, just your normal apple, but creating that framework for it to, um, to grow out over the next couple of years. Jobs are good. Un.